Welcome back, everybody, to MCOC Al Bundy Rose. I got the guillotine original after buff tutorial. So a lot of hate on her before the buff came out, and people are doing the same thing they did with the hood. They judged it before, and they're not. A lot of people aren't giving her a fair chance. Here's a little bit of some gameplay I got on some different areas from some event quests to some Act 7, and a little bit of other stuff, just some quick little visuals on what she can do showing she can do some good damage she can do some good stuff and she has some good use i'm going to show you everything you need to know on how to use her just wanted to give you a quick little bit on some real gameplay from a few areas see some concerns on her regeneration reverse heal ability and yeah those concerns were uh, not neat as we see she is doing a lot of good stuff so start off on this tutorial with the life siphon heal so there was also concern about her two percent and people talked about her amazing heal before and regeneration before the buff but whoever considered her a high regeneration whoever used her in any real gameplay is my question this is a nice sustainability two percent especially in areas if you get attack boost or stuff you will see up top her health percentage goes up pretty nicely as far as on the damage taken by the opponent so the more damage you do it's just a steady flow of health going on in a nice little flow we will see those numbers going on up and it helps quite a bit as the fight goes on, you move forward from there. And then we have the soul charge is a big part of her, di much different than before. Each time the champion loses 5% of their max health, either one loses 5%. They gain, um, or is inflicted with a bleed effect, you gain a soul charge. First 10 are indefinite. After that, there's going to become a timer. Each soul grants attack rate 110 based on this sig. At 10 plus, Gideon becomes unshackled, enhancing her special attacks. So these enhanced special attacks, they go until below six charges, and that is going to allow some extra bonus effects, meaning you want to have her at unshackle before using the specials because you get an extra bonus effect. Not always a good idea to use the specials unless you're unshackled because you're not getting as much bang for your buck. And we'll see in a bunch of some of these things in this category as we were seeing as far as gaining these souls. Uh, showing some play of all the different ways I just showed in there. You will see some of that. And now we're looking at critical hits, which causes bleed 35% chance to inflict bleed. That 1200 direct damage, in this case, over 5 seconds. Chance increases by a flat 5% for each buff on the opponent. So you can get some pretty good damage on these bleeds going in. About a third of a chance on these critical hits. If you go in those buff heavy fights, that could include buff heavy chance you know most cosmics or a lot of nodes some of these nodes you stay up close things like that you can get a lot of buffs in this case you will see the venom a lot of buffs going in on him and the bleeds are going to flow rather nicely meaning she can be very good on some of these buff heavy fights has some pretty good uses and there's some arguments going on better before nerf whatever she she had i haven't used her since i did rol with four stars years ago heavy attack bleak her so now i can actually see her being using her in some content 100% chance to inflict a 10 second bleed curse debuff. You see there's like three bleed trickles up there. An opponent with the bleed curse suffers a bleed debuff causing 1600 in this case direct damage over 5 seconds each time they're struck with a special attack. What does this mean? It means you want to get some of those bleed curses up before you do specials. You get the most bang for your buck on that when you launch it before special. You can chain it with a special or you can do some and then do a special thereafter. Now look at special attacks. Unshackled guillotine is passively unblockable during the attack. So if you're unshackled, you're doing your heavies, you notice you are unblockable anyways. You will see the special one. Final hit, 100% chance the pain link lasts 10 seconds while active non-physical damage taken by guillotine is also inflicted as physical damage back on that. I'm going to show that in a moment. And right here we're doomed. And unshackled spend 10 souls to apply any additional pain debuff when launching special. So look at buff. Buff is doing some energy attacks on me, but look at his 
his damage going down. He's doing damage to me, and I'm taking damage, but he's taking damage. You could actually use this in some of those uh, cheesy fights. This could be a good niche in some content where energy damage doing massive damage. You're going to reflect it pretty much back at them. Special 2. Final hit has 100% chance to inflict the uh, heal reverse spectral debuff for 10 seconds, reducing regeneration rate by 200%. Unshackled spent 10 souls to pause that for 10 seconds when it's first activated. So people were acting, is this a nerf? Is this worse? Is this going to be useful? So took it to the most infamous regeneration fight in the game, the ROL Warbarine, and just look at these red numbers, and you tell me if this is still good or not, okay? Don't listen to if I'm saying it's good or not. Look at the video, and is this still good? Does this still work? I'm thinking it still does. Special 3. 100% chance to inflict degeneration debuff, causing in this case 1200 direct damage over 3 seconds. Consume all soul charges to increase the degeneration by 3 seconds for each soul spent this way. Meaning, the more souls you have before you inflict the S3, the longer this is going to last. I'm going to show you some clips to where this can last for a very long time. It's not too hard to get to 10 to 15 souls. You get That's 30 to 45 extra seconds of the degeneration just going beyond. Beep, 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 yeah. So you can just tick him away. Tick him, tick him, tick him down. Here we see this S3 being launched against Vision. A good thing about Guillotine 2, she's still good against Bleed Immune Champs, which I'm going to show you on her Awakening ability in a bit. We will look at those red numbers on the degeneration on the Vision. You saw some in the 1500s. You're going to see all kinds of different numbers there. And then move around. Signature ability. When... Ever the opponent is immune to bleed, personal bleed effects, the 80.5% chance to inflict a matching rupture causing physical damage. This rupture grants one soul charge, so it's an easy way. So these bleed immune champs, you're going to cause the rupture damage. Look at those little ruptures up there, and it's an easy way to get souls. So she works very, very good against bleed immune champs. You can really exploit, kind of almost like a clairvoyant who can kind of exploit and get charges against bleed or poison or incinerate immune she's got kind of a similar thing going on there synergies friends armor rating we have we have nemesis get a plus six percent attack rivals critical damage rating so nothing too fancy on the synergies here teammates five percent perfect block chance and contest origins Synergy Champions, 4% attack, health attack rating and combat power rate so the contest origins one's the, the best out of those Tips for use. Tip number one, use against these buff heavy champs for easy bleed stacking. So Venom is just a quick, easy one to get you to show you how you can really get the bleeds going. Keep in mind, these bleeds take over five seconds. Keep stacking them up. They will just bleed on out. And we see some nice damage going on there. Tip number two, just like before, use her against the heavy regent fights. She is still extremely good. I didn't notice much of any of a difference in using her on this fight than the pre-version. And there's so many different counters for heal reverse now anyways, but this this is still a very effective way. We see this heal reverse of the 200% was way more than enough to easily take care of this infamously bad regenerations. Red numbers flying everywhere. Tip number three, use heavy before or chain with special attacks. So if you do the first part of the heavy, you could chain a special on there or just start launching heavies. You can even kind of get them in the corner if they have no power and chain heavies at the same time. You get these bleed curses. You want to get the bleed curses, even stack them before you do a special because that is going to give you the bleed per hit. So important to know that you want to make sure to be chaining those up. Do those heavies before and or chain a special after them and that way you're able to get the most bang for your buck that is going to be a key or in this case we saw since vision is bleed immune we saw the ruptures kicking on in right there which is always nice i'll take those ruptures rupture that up rupture that vision and we see some good damage going on along the way as those ruptures are also kicking on in tip number four good rotation is build up 10 plus curses heavies then spam special three so see my curse i'm at 14 right there now i want to get some of those 
curse of blood, bleed curses, something, something like that. All these funny semantics. So I have the bleed curse. So I'm at 15 charges, 15 curses. Now I want to stack me up some bleed curses. So I'm going to try to stack up two or three bleed curses. There we go, three. I'm at 14 curses right there. I'm at three of the cur bleed curses and now I'm launching a special three watch the degeneration after this it's not going to be some big old amazing all at once damage watch over time okay degeneration and watch the health bar look at those two, over 2500 per tick and you see other ticks 400 still 2500 per tick look how long this is going look at that massive damage now on the 700 still going and guess what look at that timer that timer with the 14 charges and the original time that's going to last almost an entire minute of degeneration almost entire minute so you take all this numbers all this damage that is happening this is hundreds of thousands of damage going off from this degeneration sure it's not as flashy as when you see it all at once but it's some massive stuff kicking on and it's still ticking in we're still only a, got a quarter of it left and it's been going on watch the health bar on here keep on these are 550,000 health pools did massive amounts here and by now i could do another s3 and do it all again i uh, hope you give this buff a chance i like the buff i find here usable and a lot of content now don't forget to click the top left icon subscribe to mcoc our bunny rules turn those notifications on don't forget my other champ tutorials my walkthroughs my playlist my tips tricks and strategies i got something for everyone